Hello everybody, Hyper Mario Sunshine here, back with some more Animal Crossing New Leaf. Oh, we have gotten a present from P Patricia for her birthday yesterday. Thank you for coming over to celebrate my birthday. As much as I hate admitting it, I'm getting older, I'm still very happy I'm, I imagine we get gifts so to s soften the blow. So, as Patricia has given us a gift for our, after her birthday. I don't get why we get a gift, because I, I don't know, it just doesn't feel right, you know, for the person that we celebrate the birthday of, for them to give us a gift after their their birthday. And she gives us a rally t-shirt. That's nice. Anyways. Oh, Shari. You, you just came here. Uh, yeah, you're not leaving so soon. You literally were like the last, like the first person to come here. Well, the last person to come here, actually. So yes, as I said in the last day, we're going to get started immediately looking for the uh, rock that has the, uh, the thing. And then actually going... Oh yeah, by the way, our town is now beautiful, so now we don't have to worry about any weeds. Maybe one will pop out once in a while, but it's going to be, like, super hard. And also, today we're going to be going to the island. So we actually get to start off with, uh... Oh, found that gem. So yeah, we actually get to now complete our journey as we finally get to the island. And possibly catch some fish and some bugs that are only available, you know, during the summer, because right now it isn't the summer. Oh. Well, she really wants some furniture. Let's see if we actually have anything for her. We have the astro table. Uh, here, have this... I'm, I'm gonna guess that you could still use flowers. I'm not sure. Oh no, never mind. Oh, I haven't seen you in a while. Hold on, let me plant this back. Roll out. Well, you actually, it's kind of your fault. You haven't seen me in forever. Cause you, you didn't even go outside your house. A tiger beetle. Uh, sorry, I do not know what a tiger beetle looks like. And plus, you're fishing. Why do you want a bug? You're, you know, fishing. Nope, it's not here. Alright, it has to be this one. But yeah, it's actually quite an exciting day. As, uh, we finally get to go to the island and explore. And... You know, before we do that, we're going to go shopping, see what uh, Main Street has in store for us today. Nope. Yeah, this is going to be basically daily Animal Crossing life, but th don't worry, there is something brand new that is coming, and that is Halloween, which should be quite the uh, interesting thing to see. Oh, here we go. Time to mash. As you can hear very loudly. There we go. See how much room I have. I have eight things here. I fit six, so. Alright, combine everything together, and we finally made some profit. And I think we could actually pay off for that, uh, for the thing now, and we will actually be able to see it tomorrow. Actually, no, we actually may need a few more bells. Oh, and also we have someone visiting, and this is Katrina. She is the cat that does fortune telling. So this is one of the few times that she comes. I think she I think she arrives only once a week. So yes, we could pay for fortune, 500 bells. You could actually get her into your town so you don't have to have her weekly weekly coming here. In fact, you can actually get her out of her own town. Well, not her own town. Ugh. I don't know why I said that, but her own shop in Main Street. 
but you're gonna have to uh, get her to talk a few times. Purple plumps. All right. Anyways, that's enough. Let's head to Main Street, see what we can do. And also, uh, possibly we may be able to finish up that Public Works project. But we will have to see. Oh, that might have been one of the beetles, to be honest. I'm not sure if, the, if that was a tiger beetle or not. Anyways. Teta Nookling Junction see if they have anything in store. If not, we're just going to go there to buy some candy and store it for now. Nope, nothing really interesting. And I'm actually quite sad that it's October that we started this, because the candy is the only thing that's available for now. There will be a thing called Forge Cookies, which you do pay with play coins. And these things, as you remember from my old Let's Play, of Animal Crossing New Leaf, they contained very... Pretty cool items that were that had like a lot of Nintendo stuff. You had a small chance of missing getting something that you didn't want. But just all random and and whatnot. So what the Sable's doing today. Oh Peter, you're looking well. How nice. It's very sweet of you to always make a point of stopping by. I feel awful that I never even have a the time to make you a cup of tea. I really wish we had one more set of claws around. Then I could take the time to sit and chat with you. Oh no. Th sis, there you go again, focusing on what we don't have. How can you complain now that Label is back with us? Don't you remember the three of us sisters promised to work hard together from here on out? Tee hee You're right, Mabel. My apologies. Either way, Peter, though we don't have much to offer, please feel free to stop by whenever you can. Alright. Oh my god. Back to back days. We have this. The flame pants. I swear, if tomorrow we have the flame shirt, we have our entire set. Like, ready for us. We'll wear it out. Perfect for Halloween. Oh, we do have a nice tuxedo here. Oh, a doctor's coat. Okay, never mind. It's a doctor's coat. We also have, I think it's a bear shirt, I think, because. Yeah, it's a bear costume. Well, it's not really a Halloween theme, like, theme thing, so, would be cool if it was, but it's not. Well, uh, we already purchased the werewolf one. I do want to buy something, though, because she really... Oh, we got the ninja hood here, which we actually do have the ninja pants, so, we'll actually t do that. Anyways... Pretty much done for today. Uh, let's head off and head to the island. So it should be quite fun to do because we could get then see what it's all about. We're not going to be there for too long grinding for fish and whatnot because it's not late at night. That's like the best time to head there and fish. Well, let's actually talk to Daisy before we go. Like fishing, it's good, but there's no sharks. Uh, none of the beetles are out. Uh, maybe another time. I would have loved to, Daisy, but unfortunately I don't want to, like, you know, get, like, ch change any of my plans, like, right off the bat. You know, I really don't like doing that to anybody. I'm, I mean, if I wasn't recording right now, yeah, I would. I would definitely have went off with Daisy. And here we go, here's Cap'n. So let's head over. It only cost 1,000 bells, which, I mean, to sail all the way to a tropical island, I mean, that's pretty, that's a pretty good price. And Cap'n also sings a nice song.
and Cap'n always sings this, but we're only going to listen to that once because he does have many songs that he does sing, but unfortunately we're not going to be listening to all of them because, you know, that's going to be quite a lot of time to to be watching. You could skip it by mashing A and B or any buttons, but he does get a little, like, does, his te temper gets a little hot, high when he does that, so. So we have Cap'n's family here. Do not ever use this little girl here, because she just rips you off. She's just basically useless. I don't know why you would sell stuff to her. Uh, over here is where you could connect and play games. Connect with others online here. Uh, also sign up for tours. So definitely really good in here. You could buy exclusive stuff. They're only available here. So yes, this is uh, pretty good. Um, actually kind of sad that they, she doesn't have the thing that I want for now, but... You know, let's head here and see what the island's like. And we got coconuts. I was hoping for bananas. Every tree happens to be circling. Oh! We got some good bugs that we haven't yet caught in. We got dur durain, so... <laughs> of course, we got the worst fruit of them all. The one that smells. The one that's like a soccer ball in Super Mario Sunshine. Alright, we have a few things here, obviously, the shovels, the axes, and obviously a new mechanic, the swimsuit, which I've used, again, in my last playthrough. I'm not going to use it now, maybe for a bit. There is some bugs I want to catch here, and bring home, uh, I just saw one a little bit before. Ah, uh, here we go. There we go, finally. We got the Agrias butterfly, so obviously it's a pretty Greek name. I'm not sure if I'm wrong, but got some coconuts. We're going to bring some of these back so we can plant. So we'll have some trees on our beach sides. And we'll bring, I guess we'll bring back some geranes. Why not? There was a jewel beetle here, too. All right, three should be fine for now. And yes, you could also... Oh, there's a bird wing butterfly. This is a pretty rare one. Happy this one spawned. Yeah, you also could, could make bushes when the, uh... When the Nookling store expands and eventually... Uh, combines with a uh, leaf store, so you could eventually get that, and I think that's a pretty big fish, I'm not sure. It could, I'm not sure by this angle, but I think it might be a sea bass. No, actually it's not, it's not a sea bass. Oh, never mind, I got fooled. What, you again, yeah, that, yeah, literally you again. Yeah, and I think that's another sea bass, there's no way it could be like something else. So we're just gonna scare both of them off. Anyways, let's go, let's go actually, uh, oh, that, that one was a really big fish. I don't know why I ran. There's a tiger butterfly. Scare that guy off. Obviously not as rare as the other ones, but, oh, there's a praying mantis. Not as rare as the other ones, but, you know, we can only catch these during the spring and summer seasons. So why not get it over with, now that we're seeing them. We could be selling these, especially the bird wing that's, uh, pretty big amount of money to obtain. Uh, I'm going to say that's not any big fish in particular. There is other fish that you can find here as well, but they're not really worth finding. I, I suggest really coming here during the night time. Let's see what's here. Because all the big beetles and sharks come out, and... It's just really crazy. And no, it's not a death, it's an olive flounder. Yeah, just in case you got the two confused. Let's see if there's anything else around here. This could be a red snapper, I hope it is, because I'm selling that immediately. I mean, they're pretty common, but they're like super, like, they're worth a lot for something that's very, for something that's common. No, you're just going to turn away. Okay. Not falling for the bait. Oh, 
right? God damn it. Okay, obviously those tiny fish aren't, uh, it. Obviously, if you see a fish with a fin, don't try running. Like, you know, you obviously don't want to scare it away. Because those fish are worth uh, quite a lot. Could be a Napoleon. No, actually, I don't think Napoleons have. I think ocean sunfishes are the only ones that pop out during the daytime. Either that or whale sharks. Whale sharks are worth a bunch of money, from what I recall. Which I'm not even sure how you could fish out a whale shark. That's, like, humanly impossible. As well as a great white shark. Like, I don't get how, like, people, like, fish them out. Oh, yeah, this is a pretty big fish. This might be the Napoleon. Or, like, maybe a, a marlin. Slash, you know. Here we go. Yep, here we have the Napoleon. Gonna sell that boy. Actually, no, we're not gonna sell him. Actually, no, they're actually not super common. But they're not uncommon either. Oh, let me... Please let this be a red snapper. Or a knife jaw. Those guys are worth quite a bit of money as well. So. Let's see. If it's a squid, then I guess we'll bring it to the museum. Or this guy, the zebra turkey fish. I don't know, I find this one more annoying than the, uh, the sea bass, that fish. I just don't like its, like, look. Oh, that's a sea bass. I always have to, like, mi always, like, look at them good, because I can't just, like, you know, think all the time that it's going to be, like, something bigger, even though it's, like, you could tell by the sprite size. Oh, that's an eel. It's, it's pretty obvious that, that it's an eel. There actually is pond eels. I'm not sure which ones there are, though. Because I actually never really caught them before. I think they might be appearing during the night times of different seasons, because I don't remember them appearing during the summer. Yeah, there's a lot of things to do, especially diving. Uh, I don't think that fish was big. Oh, oh my god, Okay. Giant fish with a fin. These guys are the, basically the big biters. So, I'm going to have to like focus really hard here. This guy is not going to run away from me. There we go. And it's an ocean sunfish. And this guy is like 104 inches big. And I'm not even sure how the villagers even carry him.